Well, hello. So today I am so excited because I am finally talking about the one and only, the elusive, the legendary, the beloved, yet very controversial Witch's Cauldron by Kringle Candle. I finally got my pre-order in. So I missed them. I missed the whole thing last year. I didn't get one. So my number one priority with that was getting this candle, which is Cauldron. And look, hey, if you missed out, I get you because they really are so elusive with it. Um, they did a pre-order in like July and they kind of like didn't even make a big deal about it. So I feel like a lot of people might have missed it, but here's the thing. People sell these candles from the Kringle pre-order and especially this one, especially Witch's Cauldron, for like exorbitant amounts of money. I don't recommend doing that but I will say I get it with this one. Um, I have no reason to believe that they won't be back next year. I, I think they probably will. They're so popular. So if you do want to get Witch's Cauldron, do not give up. I missed them last year. I do believe that it will be back. And I have to say, guys, I was not disappointed. I was actually shocked, kind of, by like smelling this candle. Now, first things first, these jars are crazy. I talked about, I also got candy corn, which I love. These jars are the size of my head. They're so heavy. They're so deluxe looking. They look rich. The inside of them is hand painted black. Very, very soft gray wax, um, soy wax, two wicks, 22 ounces. Lovely, lovely deluxe heavy jars. Very decorative, very spooky. What does this candle smell like? How can I describe it? So I, I gotta say guys, I was totally planning on, or not planning on, but I was expecting to make a video and just kinda, like I thought my opinion was gonna be like, yeah, this candle is interesting, it's cool, but don't be so afraid of it. You know, it's, it's not, I, I was expecting to like be the one to downplay it because I felt like, you know, I'll probably just find this one to be like milder than most people because I love smoky candles and I seek them out and I love the weird candles. I love things that smell weird and I love things that smell dark and crazy and I like candles that like not everybody else likes. Like I, that, that's a big part of my taste in candles. I was not disappointed by Witch's Cauldron. Not at all guys. So this one is not on their website anymore. So I, I don't have like the official list of the notes, but I remember the notes that were in it. Um, it was like clove, cedar, incense, and some other stuff I don't remember, but there had to have been smoke in there because that's literally what this can't, it, I don't even, let me just smell it and, and I'll do my best because it's crazy. All right, this is the smokiest candle I've ever smelled. And I love smoky candles and I have a lot of them and I have smelled a lot of them. This is so smoky. It's like, it's legit like fire. It's like burning wood and burning charcoal. Like a huge, like, like to the extreme. This is not like, oh, like, you know, my neighbors were outside watching This Is Us. And like, so like they had their fire pit going cause it's getting a little chilly and I could just like smell the fire pit. This is like legit fire guys. Like this is not a joke. That's what I have to say about this. This candle is not a joke. This is a bold and bizarre candle that almost smells wrong and I cannot get enough of it. I love it. I cannot wait to burn this again. I think I'm going to burn it tonight. I don't even care. I'm going to burn it guys. I, I, I did burn it and I was loving it. So I'm just, it's, it's crazy burning fire charcoal smoke. And then on top of that, you have all this stuff just like thrown at it. And it's so potent and so strong and so bold. You've got incense. Oh, and like, I kind of smell some kind of soda in this. I, I highly doubt there's actually a soda note, but like something in it, like 
is smelling like effervescent and like soda to me, which I'm like living for. I'm obsessed with soda candles. And I, I'm smelling some kind of like spicy soda in it. I don't know if it's like some kind of citrus that's maybe making it smell like like Sprite, not Sprite, like um, Celebration from Village smells like Sprite. This doesn't smell like Sprite, but there's some kind of like, some kind of like effervescent, like syrupy soda that I love. That's what it kind of smells like. I don't know if it's maybe like a little bit of like licorice or something that's doing that. Oh man, incense and cloves and like, this is so crazy that it almost goes medicinal sometimes. Like, you, I can smell something like almost alcoholic and medicinal in this. It is very strange and very strong. I believe I've heard people say that this smells like band-aids to them and I can totally see that. I love it, but it's odd and it's so, everything in it is just turned up so much that it just, it comes together in this like explosion. It really does live up to its name. It's Witch's Cauldron, guys, and it smells nothing. To me, it has nothing to do with Witch's Brew from Yankee. They're not even on the same, they're, they're not on the same level. They're not even like in the same zip code, in my opinion. They're, they're not, to me, at all similar because Witch's Brew is like patchouli with like a little bit of that kind of like spiciness and sometimes effervescence. This is not that. It is. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with Witch's Cauldron by Goose Creek because Goose Creek also has a Witch's Cauldron that I reviewed that is cool, but that one smells like Witch's Brew. This does not. This, the only thing that is like slightly reminiscent to me is my beloved, beloved Forbidden Forest by Village. And even so, that one, they're not that similar, but there is something similar in them because Forbidden Forest is like fire in the forest. This is that, but turned up to 100 with a whole cluster of other stuff <laughs> added to it. And it almost, it, it almost smells crass. Like, I, I can't imagine smelling this for the first time and not being like, whoa. Like, oh, but it's addictive. Like, it's just, I mean, this is scary and spooky. And what is that? And it's it's phenomenal what can I say I love it like I it's hype because it's hype like I just I love it it's just oh man this is not this is not basic this is not your weak this is not your weak candle stuff like if you this is the candle this is a candle that I think could be very polarizing I think and I am throwing not an ounce of shade your way if this is you but if you if, if your candle taste is softer if you like to do like a clean linen wax melt and the occasional strawberry pound cake and your Halloween like your Halloween candle burning taste is like vampire blood by Bath and Body Works and maybe the occasional candy corner witch's brew I think you might be traumatized by this and I can totally see how some people would smell this and be like that is wrong and that is gross and that is crazy and I do not want that but I'm about that life. The crazy Halloween people, I think, will probably be about that life too because this is a Halloween candle, guys. This is a crazy, scary, wrong candle. Like, it's like, what is that? It really does. It goes medicinal. It goes fire. It goes... Oh, man, and when it's burning, it's like you can smell so many different things and it's like you'll walk into the room and then you'll be like, oh wow, my gosh, like a, a legitimate fire. And then you'll be like, oh, it smells like medicinal. It's, it's, it's crazy. Like it really, it's a crazy candle, guys. It really is. Throw on a scale of one to 10 was about a seven. It had a good throw. It burned evenly. It burned well. It doesn't linger. It's not like, um, like a crazy Bath and Body Works candle, which is probably a good thing because the scent itself is very strong and very potent. However, you know, the throw of the candle is good. It's strong, but it's not, I didn't find this to be a candle that lingered or anything like that. So I think that's probably a good thing because if this had like the power of like, I don't know, like ugh, pumpkin pecan waffles or something, this could probably like actually end people. So, but it's, it's amazing. It's like, it's addictive. I cannot wait to burn it again probably tonight 
it's a crazy candle guys it is it's it's witch's cauldron that's what it is it's spooky and it smells it smells kind of raunchy it really does it's like it's it's not basic guys it's not basic you know if you're not about that life you're not about that life and i can respect that i'm sure a lot of people hate this like this but i mean it is crazy i love it i think this is so bold and so cool and i have to give it to kringle for this like i was not disappointed you guys it got me it really i mean oh man that is that is crazy i love it guys witch's cauldron kringle what can i say 10 out of 10 really 10 out of 10 but if you're not about that life, like seriously, don't go for it because you'll be traumatized, like for real. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later.